Hey guys, this is Eating My Controller, and today we're going to play The Last Door. After all the things I've seen. Oh, Jesus. How do you see anything? Go, rope. Climb out the window. Wow, this is really good. After all the things I've done. This is starting to sound like a song. Like a really shitty screamo. That was such a good attempt at screamo. Come on, friend. Come on. This chair is really in my freaking way. Alright, I shall name you Herbert. This chair is an impenetrable wall. Oh. My life is on a course that I can't escape from. Did I just pull the ceiling and kill Herbert? Oh dear god. Oh, oh I see. Climb. It's too late for me now. No, it's not Herbert. You just gotta fight. No! Herbert, that's not what I meant at all. I just hope you f could forgive me someday. No! No! Shh! Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. No, your name's Herbert. We could work with Herbert Beechworth, but not Anthony. <gasps> no, no, no. I hope your neck is made of... Ah. The last door. Well, there goes freaking Herbert. God, I hope you guys can hear me. I don't know if I'm being loud. Well, October 1891. It was the darkest. That's the only thing my dear old friend Anthony Beechworth wrote in his letter. <laughs> I mean, Herbert. It's been many years since I last heard that sentence. It used to be the motto of the science and philosophy group that we secretly ran back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind like simple childhood memories. But it was unusual. That letter could only mean that we happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Let's go, Beechworth. I mean, no. Your name should be Alex. Aw, he's a Sex, sex, sue sex to the address on the letter. Let us go to sex. And there it was, the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. Herbert's family. Chapter 1. The Letter. Oh, good, we've already found that. That's one thing I want to do. Lens. Let's look. Or not. Wow, I have an amazing top hat on. I kind of look have like a Frodo jacket. I'm like Frodo with a top hat. These pixels are really difficult. This is weird. No one's living here. I'm worried about Herbert. I have to find him. Come on, Alex. Let's find Herbert. Well, good, take off your coat, get all comfy. A portrait of Herbert. He looks older than I expected. That's kind of a weird thing to say. Like, you expect them to look less old. Like, let's guess it's not that way. A grandfather clock. Like how Herbert's looking like a grandfather. It's the only sound around here. Hmm. <laughs> Except for the sound of violins playing, can't you hear it, Alex? It's quite loud. Oh dear lord. Come on, go into the darkness. It's too dark. I can't go any further. Don't be a pushy. Go into the door. It won't open. No, I'm sure it will soon. -na -na -na. Looks like a woman. Herbert was a womanly man. Ah, oh, that moose. Deer. That's totally a moose. That moose totally has the answer to something. A drinks cabinet with glasses, some crystal bottles, and a matchbox. Oh, set something on fire! It looks rusty. A fireplace. Looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. We should find the bathroom. We should look for the keys in the bathroom. Let's go here. Doesn't that kind of like lead me to the area I was just in? <laughs> uh, 
the kitchen, <laughs> the boiler room. Can I pick things up? I unlocked it with what? I haven't even been to the bathroom to pick up any keys. <gasps> There's a fire! Oh no. A murder of crows is eagerly eating something. I bet it's Herbert. No. Okay. Can't look that. It's just rubbish. Well, eh. Ew. Okay, I guess you need to go find some meat for them. Let's go find meat, meaties. There we go. A variety of cooking ingredients. Hmm. I came through that way, didn't I? Herbert. Alex, who's that? A crooked painting. Oh, yes, you can tell it's crooked from the little, one little pixel indent. This whole pixelated thing is really growing on me. Alright, Alex. Oh, man, is that alcohol? No. Some toiletries. Maybe some tampons for Herbert's lady friend. What is this? A letter! March 5th, 1891. Oh, that's the olden days. Master made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I can pray every. N I can't pray every night. Does she mean I can't pray without it? That doesn't make sense. If you can't pray every night, does that mean you can you can pray some nights? That's the real question. Uh, he's been complaining about Alfie. Alfie is n Alfred, though. Isn't Alf? Oh man, this is getting confusion. Alfred is spending whole days locked inside his office. Oh no. An empty bowl like the ones used to feed a pet. My friend texted me. Come on. Let's go. I bet there's a cat somewhere that I will befriend. Fondly. Fondly. It's padlocked. <laughs> It's not just locked, it's freaking padlocked. That's intense. Okay. Uh, let's look at this one. A landscape. I could tell that, Jesus. This game does have a nice ambiance. And it's not really close it. Kind of chill the house. I wonder why no one has come to Come to claim Herbert's nice house. He does have a lovely house. What's this? A note. Oh, well, I guess I should look at that. Dear Herbert, due to recent events. No. I'm sorry, I don't know what I was talking about earlier. I named him Herbert, not Alfred. Wow. Due to recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years of your service. God bless you. Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. To be ironic if there were wine brewers. Actually wouldn't be, but whatever. Let me in, friend. Uh, I guess I need to get a light. Leftovers. Yeah, they're only a day old. How long ago did Herbert kill himself? <gasps> oh, cloth. Let's, let's put it on the crows. Eat. Feast, younglings. Okay. Oh, the matches, of course. Okay. I guess we probably need something like a lighter fluid or something. Or a bottle. Ooh. Oh, that's what I'm doing. And gotcha. <laughs> Combine. Combine. Oh. Sweet. Let's go. Nope, 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 nobody, nope, nope, no, 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 no. <sighs> Some wooden planks have been nailed to this doorway. It's not a very good word. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, let's just keep going down here. 
Mm, this one. That one doesn't look like it has a handle. Mm. <gasps> this wasn't a scary room at all. A double bed. It's covered in dust. Seems like no one has slept here for days. Well, everyone in this house is either dead or gone. Or dead and gone. The fireplace hasn't been used for a long time because everyone in this house is either dead or gone. Or dead and gone. Alright, grab the chemistry set. Oh, family portrait. Okay, nice. A gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. <laughs> huh? Okay. Stop making you stupid faces. Sorry. Uh, jump out the window. Oh, I bet I have to crawl through the window sometime. The music's getting freaking louder. Oh, the key. I bet that's the padlock door. Alex, you don't have a face. I think you need to get that checked out because that's dangerous. I don't know how you knew that it wasn't freaking light out if you can't even see shit. <coughs> Hello, Moose. Moose, that is totally not dear. Hello. Mona Lisa, you lady. Mm, flowers. Get them. Pick them. Give them to Herbert. Put them on his final resting place. A small plant will bring some light to this place. Don't just claim ownership like you put the friggin' plant there. Oh good, this will be bad. Guys, I'm telling you. It's a cellar. Look. Look, Herbert. I mean, Alex. A slate rec a slate record titled The Carnival of Venice. 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 Look at those. If I was PewDiePie, I'd be screaming about barrels. Some firewood. Why did I stop here? Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. I don't like this, you guys. An iron cover. Pick it up. Pick that shit up. Oh my god, I'm about to freaking jumping with it. The boiler looks like it's been out of use for a long time. Well, again, nobody's freaking left here. Ah, uh, beat it open. Okay, well good. Well, now we know we can do that. I don't want anything to pop out at me or else I'll scream like a little bitch. Scream like a little bitch. That is my new theme song. Scream like a little bitch by eating my controller. Top single in nowhere. Beat the crows with the crowbar. <laughs> oh, that's not even funny. <laughs> break. Oh man. Okay, you guys ready? Ready for some half life in this shit? Leave me alone. For God's sake, what happened to you? Oh, it's a lady. A lady friend. The lifeless body of a woman. It's been here for a few days. Mm, looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. Grab it. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts. My last lines. My last breath. You can't write your last breath. I don't know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now, a stranger. With a look bereft of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I don't know what shadow that slow- I don't know that shadow that slowly darkened our lives. I don't know this foreign host that now dwell in our souls. I don't know where it's from, but I'm sure it's not from this world. That was actually beautiful. She should be an author- an author. She should be an author. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon I will stop trembling. What is that? It's a gun. Oh, I can pick I can pick the padlock. Yes. Oh. You guys, this is like the fastest I've ever friggin' solved any puzzle ever. Uh, I think on all the last I don't want to pick up all these letters. Even just I I'm not usually good at puzzles, but I'm totally rocking this. Uh, wow, there's a lot of woman paintings. Uh, a teenage girl, it could be me. 
or it could be you. We should have Herbert with a stuffed link, link, links. I need that. It looks like he's very proud of his valued animal. The paint looks fresher around the lynx head. Lynx. Lynx. It's a silly word. That one. It's Herbert, just like I remember him. Not dead or old. Open, open sesame seed. <gasps> oh, and the crows will- no. The one with seven looks like the lid's given up. I need some sort of cord to keep it open. I have a hairpin. Cloth. Damn. Is that a rat hole? <gasps> I'm gonna find a kitty cat. I'm a cat. I'm a kitty cat. I don't know how that song actually goes. Alright, Alex. It's time to get our shit together. Because we're taking forever. Oh, I can actually get that record. Alex, you're one slow ass motherfucker. So I guess I should take them at face value when they say we need cloth and stop trying stupid things. Mm, there's so many things like it doesn't let me pick up first and it's like, hey, come on, just pick it up, stupid. Oh, I play the record and the devil pops out. Ew, this is horrible. Ew, who would ever want to listen to this? Can I take it off now? The music stopped abruptly. Uh, what? Dude, Herbert, don't move. Hairpin him. What the? What the? Oh man, they're not outside anymore. Shh, don't mind me, birds. Don't mind me. Oh man, I hope they don't eat the moose. Deer, whatever. Ah, there's a dying crow amidst a pool of blood. Well, it took them forever to even bother trying to eat that little shit. Ew, don't touch it. Ew! The remains of a banquet. Oh, I'd rather not snap, but no, that sounds. Oh, good, you guys. Now we get to listen to freaking Dying Crow for the next freaking forever. It'll take me forever to figure out what to do with this. I don't even know. My coat. <laughs> my coat. My lovely trench coat. Hmm. Well, we are never playing that freaking gramophone again, that's for damn sure. Stop dying. Oh, I know. I will feed the crow. Oh, man. That's gonna work, isn't it? Oh, damn. I don't actually want to. Come here, my. Come here. Oh, I know. I know. I need to. I need to open this now. And then we need to go find some string. This is a bitch. Alright, what's in here? That's the cellar. Don't go in there. That's nasty. Oh, the music changed. It's actually a lot more pleasant now. It feels more like I'm on an adventure. Me and Alex. Alec Baldwin and I. Alec Baldwin would be a freaking awesome person to go on an adventure with. Can you imagine it? Like, jamming with Alec Baldwin. Oh, look for some strength. You're not very clever, can I just say that? Because you can find string like anywhere. Like, pull up the freaking carpet or something. There's nothing to do in there. Look in the fireplace. Who cares whether the fire. <gasps> the curtains are drawn. Do it. Do it. Set them on fire. No. Cloth them. God, we need to unlock something with this freaking hairpin. Hmm. That is totally not a deer. That is most definitely a moose. Oh, uh, maybe we can go back to the where that chick was dead.
Okay, well, no problem. Did I use the hairpin on this? There wouldn't have been that already. Hmm. Maybe if I pick up some wood, I can shove it there. But that doesn't seem right either. Oh man, she barred herself in here. I just realized that. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Oh, good. So it doesn't even. You can just read them over and over. Grab the something. Oh, the writing wall reads, Leave me alone. Who would have written such a thing? Well. There's a couple options. Well, just one really. Uh, probably someone who really, really wants to be left the fuck alone. Uh, dab the paint. That's the point. Set it on fire. Okay. I don't think we're gonna use those magic much. Rub your hairpin on it. There's. Wait, what happened to my? Oh, my crowbar's broken. How did that not work before? Oh. Watch this turn off all the freaking. Oh, grab it. Yes. Praise the Lord. Don't mean to offend anyone if they're like worried about something like that. <laughs> God. Good. Now use. This is not a good way to use a cross. Okay, yeah, hang it up there, that definitely works. God, what? Stop dying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll go out and there'll be a thump, thump, thump. You hear a cat meowing in the distance. Uh, it's probably. This game just keeps making me run back and forth and forth. Ew. That is not a friggin' pleasant cat. Where did the crow go? Obviously the fucking cat took it. Well, how did that help? Offer me something, cat. Fire it out. Oh, touch the bud. Touch it. God damn. Because we needed that to tell us that there's a friggin' cat in there. Didn't I say that earlier? There's gonna be a cat in there? If not, oh god. I don't like hearing all these animals. Ooh, 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 ooh. What the fuck was that? Dude, is that, sorry, is that Stonehenge? Oh man, we're right next to the Stonehenge. Cat, just calm your tits. I know, you're probably like freaking the frick out. I am too. Everyone here's dead. Alright. Alex, there is a cat dying and we need to save it. I think you could hurry the frick up. With a small tool. Oh, I wonder what that's implying. Yes. Now this problem solved. Means of chemical experiments. Common hammer and good. Okay, take take it. Ew, there's a cat. Oh no, it's a lynx. Can I take it? But it's alive. Maybe. Ooh, maybe that's not actually a cat. Maybe there's a lynx in the wall. No, what they're sens sensorious, sensorious. I did not know that was a word. Oh shit! Solving puzzles, solving puzzles, getting shit done. Is that a swordfish? Of sorts. All right, let's find out that we can't go through here. Wow. Okay, we need to find a golden key. I'm so freaking good at problem solving. When did this happen? It's unlocked the door. Okay, okay. Mm, cat. Ooh, 
can bust open that hole in the freaking in the attic. See, no, cellar, the cellar. The dank, dank, dark, deep, dastardly, dangerous doorknob, ducking, dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge cellar. Oh no, okay. So it wasn't in there after all. Cat, if you attack me, I will punch you in the butt and it will go straight up into your little cat head. And you would not be very happy about that. Because that would freaking hurt. Okay. Bust it open. On top of the chest, there's a black cat. His eyes are missing. Ew. Good God, it almost ripped my eyes out. He's run into the darkness. Good thing it can't see you, you'd have been screwed. There's an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. I'm gonna become Superman. Only this knife can be useful. No, are you freaking kidding me? Batman ran around with a dark cloak, a cape, and probably a couple knives. And he was a badass. He solved every puzzle that he came across. Did you see his fight with the Riddler? He solved those puzzles like friggin' Jeopardy people solve friggin' Jeopardy. Alright, Alex. What are we doing with this knife, this thinner, this old cloth? Put the thinner on there. Ooh. What am I thinning, though? Was my newest puzzle. All right, have I opened you? No. Jam it open. Get it. Get that knife up in there. It's too big. White cloth. It. <sighs> We're making such good progress. All right. I think. Ooh. Let's thin away that paint. Give me him with a crow. The thinner is work. The fresh paint around the lynx's head is gone, and now I can see the original painting. The lynx is different. Its mouth is open as if it was growling. That's not much different. Alright, I'd better go stab something. It would be creepy if I came back in here and she was gone. This game doesn't seem to do much for, like, changing backgrounds. Wait, is there a door over here I need to open? Did I open this already? Oh yeah, I did, stupid. God. Good God. Alright, let's just click everything again. Hmm. But its mouth is shut like it was before I revealed the original painting. <sighs> Cut it open. Oh no, that worked, didn't it? Oh god. Cut out the lynx's eyes. Oh no, it wouldn't be real eyes anyway. Oh god. The trapdoor is not the key. Oh, did I not get the key? <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> This is usually where games end. Oh god, no, Herbert, no! Grab him. The lifeless body of my dear friend. Who was painting all these? Was that Herbert? Herbert seems like the type to be a, a writer. If you're reading these lines, I'm nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write to you in my last shreds of lucidity. You can't possibly know how pleased I am knowing that you arrived on time. You are one of my oldest friends, and when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I didn't doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this night, everything would be lost. I found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. And now you're just going to get your best friend involved, who went to some Scottish school with you. 
For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I've become a total stranger to myself and my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I can't give you any more details now. I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school where we made that pact, where we all said that sentence that would always protect us and swore with our honor before the other members. Honor for my family. This letter must not reach anyone else, so I'd like you to destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours are in great danger. Do not delay. They are already waiting for you. Seeing is believing, Devitt. <laughs> Seeing is believing! Don't forget it. Always your loyal friend, Herbert Beechworth. Oh no. Don't eat him. Oh no! Time lapse. Okay, eh, no. More time lapse. And then we left sex. Alright guys, I thought that was pretty good. Thank you for watching. I'll do chapter 2 definitely. I thought this was a really fun game. And I'm glad. I'm just glad you guys could be here for me.